What's up guys, welcome to Daily Refinement. This video is long overdue. I'm gonna talk about what promoted listings are and what rate you should promote at to get maximum visibility and maximum traffic. So please smash the like button, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys inside. Before we get into the video, I wanna stress that you do not need promoted listings. I actually recommend that you focus on buying quality items. If you're getting less than 10 sales per day, I don't recommend promoted listings because it'll really distract you. But let's say you wanna add it in. Promoted listings is a way to give your regular items greater visibility on the site. So we're gonna search for this Pokemon right now, Conkledor, and we're gonna see what the listings that pop up are. So out of the four listings, you'll see that three of them are actually sponsored. This is how promoted listings work. When you pay, eBay will give you greater visibility and put your items above the organic search. But you'll see here, number four, this item is going to sell and they used zero promoted listings. They just had an organically good matching item. Somebody searched for Conkledor, they had a Conkledor, they had an aggressive price. It's gonna sell with no promoted listings. Now, if you go even further and you search for a graded version, so that's not raw, raw is just a card Graded means it's inside of this sealed case. The sealed cases, there are zero items that are promoted. So if you promoted at the minimum rate of 2%, you would rank number one because no one else is bidding for those spots. But if you're just searching for the Pokemon Conkledor and everything, this Pokemon is gonna pull up a very competitive promoted listings rate. So 2% may not get you into the first three listings, and that's where experimentation is really, really important. So if you wanna start with no promoted listings and find out how you're doing first as a baseline, that's great. I recommend the next stage would be to try 2% and see how big of a difference there is between 2% and no promoted listings. And then above that, it's up to you to find your sweet spot of what works best. Now there's something really, really important. At a certain point, more promoted listings will not give you more exposure. So it's not always the case that 40% promoted listings is better than 20% promoted listings because maybe you've already won the auction at 20%. So it's important to realize every single item is an island. It has its own set of competition. So this is why I recommend staying in a smaller subset of categories because if you're in too many categories, it's really hard to optimize promoted listings for all of them. But if you only sell sweaters, you have a really good idea of what sweaters typically sell for and how competitive it really is. If you're selling rare cashmere sweaters that there's only 10 of them, you don't need promoted listings. If you're selling a common Banana Republic sweater where there's 10,000 of them for sale, you might need 30% promoted listings just to make it into the top of the sponsored. Now, this is also really important. I would rather give my customer a discount. So instead of promoting a $10 item at 10% and paying an extra dollar in fees, I would rather just offer that same item at $9 because it's better for the customer. This is why I don't recommend promoted listings for beginners or for people under 10 sales a day because I'd rather you give that money directly to the customer. So hopefully that was useful, guys. Please join our group at patreon.com slash the resource podcast. In that group, we have 2,000 people figuring this out together. So appreciate you guys. Until next time, make progress daily.